Hello and welcome to episode 9 of my Hoarders Road to Glory and today is a special one, probably the biggest episode so far because one to watch is here which means the untradeable players, the SBCs, the objectives they're going to start flowing in. Now I'm going to show you the ones that have been released today if you don't know the rules of the series I have to complete every card that comes out for the entirety of FIFA and I must keep them in my club until the very last day. So far, the only SPCs slash objectives to come out have been Tonali and Calvert-Lewin. I have completed both, there's been no objective players. Until now, if I go to objectives, there is a one to watch Diogo Jota. To complete him, you have to score in four separate squad battles matches on at least professional difficulty using Liga Nos players. Not too difficult. Assist with a through ball using f Portuguese players in four separate rivals matches. A little bit harder depending on what division you're in. Because, uh, well, you want these sort of players to be as much squad battles as possible because then you know the exact amount of time it will take you. I know scoring four separate squad battles matches, I know this is going to take me four games. Whereas this one, this could take more than f uh, the four separate rivals matches that it says. This assist in five separate squad battle matches on minimum professional again using players with f at least four star skill moves. That's pretty straightforward. Score 10 finesse goals in rivals using Premier League players. Pretty straightforward as well. Score at least two goals per match in five rivals matches using Premier League players. Okay, I think a mixture of this one and the through talent one, they're going to be the two hard ones. The other three, no problem. Although to be fair, this uh, you can sort of kill the bottom two at the same time if you do it correctly. Now it's time to get into the games. I will only be showing the goals or assists that contribute to the overall objective which, as you can see there, was a Jaff Leaks assist. That helps out the four assists with through balls with Portuguese players. Another one there, that's two in two games. And as you can see here, he goes and makes it three. This was his three game loan card that I got. I believe I had the choice between him, Haaland and Trent. I'd already had an eight game Haaland on loan, so I wanted to try out for Leaks. And it's been put to good use. Hernani, who I just had in my club, a 90 pace Portuguese player, gets the fourth and final through ball assist to complete the first checkpoint of the objective. Rashford uh, scores a, a nice finesse goal here, along with a few that were assisted by Hernani and Jav Leaks, which is quite nice because that's just slowly ticking off and building up those 10 finesse goals. Uh, which I can just do when I'm doing all other objectives other than the squad battle ones. Which, speaking of, we're into squad battles now. After finishing the first checkpoint, I decided to go just quickly finish the squad battle games. As I said before, with squad battles you know exactly how long it's going to take you. So all I had to do was get an assist and a goal with this Liga Nos player uh, that I'd sub on first minute. It didn't actually have to be an assist with a Liga Nos player, I found out later. It just had to be someone with four star skills, but I, he just got assists every game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I had to get, I believe it was four assists, no, it was four goals, sorry, and five assists in the uh, squad battles in four and five separate games. So, slowly, you just build them up, you know, you you know that you're going to do it because it's on min professional difficulty, so you know you're going to get them to objectives done per game it just depends if you are committed enough to go for it as he gets another assist to a wonderful Rashford goal who the shot power Rashford gets on his strikes are almost unfair a little bit fortunate there but I don't even know what the the Liganos player's name was I just he was not bad though to be fair Cabral I think I saw there he was actually semi-decent and here I'm showing my final 4 star weak foot assist or 4 star skill moves was it give me a sec let me check 
It was four star skill moves. So that was my final assist with four star skill moves. Now we're back into rivals. And here you can see a nice finesse goal with Rashford. This is what I was going for pretty much. I was pretty much just trying to get two finesse goals a game with Rashford. And there, another finesse goal with Rashford, which is lovely. At this stage, he's probably around like the six or seven finesse goals uh, in rivals. Because it's not in separate matches. It's just, you can do all ten in one match, which I'd be quite surprised if you could manage. But that's what's so nice about it, is when doing the two other rivals objectives you can just score finesse it just makes sure all your goals are finesse goals and it'll just finish that one by itself pretty much as he gets another finesse goal and surprise surprise another finesse goal a very nice one at that near post as well which really is not that good this year but he still manages to bag it pretty much at this point I don't know what else to really say other than because you're just watching Rashford just score finesses. Oh, actually, in this game, I wasn't sure if this would count because I finessed it from the penalty. I wasn't quite sure if that counts as a finesse because it, because it's a penalty, but I think it did actually count, which is nice. And that, if you've uh, been keeping count, is Rashford's third finesse goal of the game, and that's his fourth which pretty much, well, it does finish the finesse in, uh, uh, finesse 10 goals in a rival's objective as he gets his fifth of the game in a 5-2 win. Now we're into a final game, I believe. If I score two goals in this game, then that's it, finished, and I can move on and claim my Jota. Rashford nice and early getting one goal, and then in the 35th minute, he scores near an identical goal, and that was all I needed. I just had to seal the game and uh, then there's the Jota with a very nice card. You actually get some decent packs from finishing him as well which I will be opening at the end of the video but time to just watch the newest addition to the club walk out and man is it quite the sight. Oh wait, I stand corrected. I, I'm i almost certain he walked out. I guess not. But just look at the card. 83 pace, 84 dribbling, 77 shooting, 71 passing, 77 physical. Just immaculate. The in-games are so, so nice. 5 star weak foot, 4 star skills. His dribbling is immense. And then we move on to the team that I'm cashing in to get Thiago Silva. I probably spent about... I want to say 10k to get him. I think I spent 10k. The rest I had in my club. And uh, after every SBC, this is always really laggy. I, I think it's an issue with the actual game because I think I've seen it elsewhere. But they definitely need to fix that. But here we go. Finally, the walkout that I've been waiting for. One to watch Thiago Silva. Probably not going to get uh, many game times after his initial two. Because if you don't know, I have to use every new card that I collect. Uh, I have to use them for two games after I get them. And then I can choose whether I want to keep, uh, keep them in my squad or just put them on the bench, pretty much. I feel like after the two games, this guy will probably be sitting on the bench for a while. His pace is just not really usable. Unless he does really well for Chelsea and gets a bunch of Team of the Weeks. Which I can't really see happening. It's not often you see centre-backs get three or four Team of the Weeks. Which is realistically what he needs to get a usable card. But now we're moving over to the store. Opening the gold pack. I do have a guaranteed one to watch pack. But I'm unsure whether to keep that until I know what week two one to watch team is. And then compare the two teams. So I can decide if I want to open it with week one or week two. Or if I just open it now, but it's not opened in this video. It will be opened in another video, but that will be coming soon. Uh, first pack, got nothing really. Luis Gustavo. Second pack, no board, but a rare player this time. We get Berghaus. Actually, it's not a bad card, but I do recall he does have a two-star weak foot, which isn't ideal. 75 plus rated player. 
my hopes weren't very high for this and uh, rightfully so no board no walkout I am yet to have a walkout on the actual game I've had three or four who have I had I've had Courtois I've had Sancho and that might actually have I only had two walkouts I think I must have yeah I've only had two walkouts and they're both on the web app so I'm yet to actually see the full animation myself uh, a lightroom players pack still not packed anyone of any note of any of these packs as we get Danilo there non rare from that pack which is not what you like to see the one rare card is a silver but to be fair these packs just fill up the club a bit give it a bit of stability for when future SBCs that I have to complete do come out it will take a bit of money off as we finally get our first board of the packs and with the Albania flag, the goalkeeper at Lazio, it's Strakoska. Probably butchered his name, but oh well. So not a bad pool in the rare players pack. Finally sitting semi notable. And Paulo Lopez, that's two eighty threes in the same pack. So this pack probably saves it. As much as it was definitely worth doing Jota, even with no packs in return, I would say it was probably worth doing him. Just because, so far for Liverpool, he's looking promising, scored on his debut, uh, he played against Aston Villa, but nobody from a Liverpool point of view played well for against Villa. But yeah, I do think he'll definitely get some Team of the Weeks, so that is something to look forward to. Thiago Silva on the other hand, not so much. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.